<laughs> okay, so we are gonna go over um, the calendar for what's happening in September. Um, I was just talking about Aileen about how to kind of message somebody that she knows but doesn't really know um, that's been watching your stories. And so I basically just said I would send, start a message and say something along the lines like, hey girl, I saw your name pop up um, from my, my story views. I just wanted to check in and see how the heck are you doing? Starting a genuine conversation, making sure you're asking questions, being a good friend. And then when you don't know what else to say at the end of the conversation, that's when it's like, well, you've probably seen on my stories, but I've been having a ton of fun working out from home and having great success on my postpartum journey. Tell me about you. What are you in? What are you doing for your health and fitness these days? So that's kind of my go-to segue of how to invite people that have been watching my stories. Um, unless they comment on like a poll or something like that, then it can be like more of like a go in for the kill. But if it's somebody you haven't talked to, but you kind of know, don't know, um, or regardless, I'd just like to take a little bit of time to get to know people. So can you see my screen, Nicole? I can. Okay. Um, wait. On this. No, that's as big as we get. Okay. All right. So the, today is the 8th, right? No, today is the 7th. This calendar always confuses me because it starts on a Monday, but now I'm like, I don't know if I want to change it because now I'm already um, trying to get used to the way it's been. Okay. So this is happening on Monday. No, sorry. <laughs> I think I do just need to change it. <laughs> All right. So this week we don't have anything other than a sneak peek, a new coach basics call. So if you guys have any, and this is what I actually record and put in the new coach email. Now um, I updated the new coach onboarding where if you go into the, um, I put it all in our Google drive. If you, and I'm pretty sure I saved this into the announcement section of our team page where I have everything there. So say you sign a coach, I literally have a, I signed a coach now what document. You go in there, there's like a five minute video I made about exactly the process of what you will do to train your new coach. Then all the materials you need for that new coach are in that Google Drive. So it makes it super simple. It's the email, it's the attachments you'll send in the email, it's the, there's a link to our team page, there's a link to um, the, the making a new coach post album in our team page. And then you set up a one-on-one -on -one call with them. And then there's a list, bulleted list of exactly what to cover in the one-on-one -on -one call. The one-on-one -on -one call is super simple. You talk about their why, the program, the meal plan they're doing, um, some of their goals. And then you give them homework to, to create a list of 10 people. And then we give them scripts of how to invite these people. And you say, use me, send me screenshots, let me know how I can help. So simple, but making, fo making them focus on just like taking action. So what we have, Ashley McClellan is a rock star coach. She um, is in one of my five star groups and she's just, have, her and her team has just like such momentum. I can't remember what topic she was. Somebody just talked about how she just had so much fire and I was like, hey, I would love to have you speak on a team call. And she doesn't do um, any evening calls. So she is going to go live in our team page three o'clock Eastern time on Tuesday. So make sure you hop on then or catch the recording of that. Mm -hmm. And then the new coach basics call, like I said, that's what I send in the welcome email, that recording Liz is going to host that for us. So that's like what success club is summit, what to do. Here's some scripts for talking to people kind of thing. Um, we have a coach sneak peek on the 11th. It's going to be one day and I would love for both of you to take a video and do a, a live video just about like why you love coaching, what it's done for you. Um, you know, something like that. What, why, what coaching has done for you, what you love about coaching. Um, or maybe like why you didn't think that you would want to coach or, um, you know, Aileen, I think it would also be good for you to talk about, um, you know, how, you know, you're doing this for you. And, um, I know how I love, I love how you're always like, I just want to prove people wrong because I feel like, um, you know, that's a mindset that a lot of people have too, um, that, oh, maybe I won't have support or something like that. So you can figure out what you want to talk about. It's really open to you. It's like, what do you think a, um, potential coach needs to hear? And, um, I'll give you that. And I think it'd be really great for you to do your first video or Nicole, have you done one before? I, I've, I've done a couple. Okay. Yeah. So Aileen, it's Aileen, it's your first, but I thought you had done some, Nicole. What, when should we have that done? 
So it would, you can do a video and post it, or you can do a live video, whichever you'd rather do. Um, okay. That's for Wednesday the 11th. Okay. So I can do it anytime on the 11th live? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just let me know what time you think would be good for that day. Cause I'd like to not have a bunch of people at the same time. So we can, I'd like to schedule it out. Okay. But both of you take a look at your schedule and Aileen will probably be around nap time. <laughs> Um, and you don't have to give me an exact time, just about ish. So I can let people know. Cause I would try to like have somebody in the morning and then in the afternoon sometime and then like evening. Um, team I calls say that I might film mine in, in advance because I don't know what the schedule is with these guys. Okay. So have they been napping both at the same time? Yeah, they do. Oh, good. But like a lot happens in between then. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Um, okay. And then team call this Thursday, the 12th. I have to see. Jess is hosting this um, team call. Jess Perkins is hosting. Um, Summit has really like changed her um, business. She's just very fired up and she's been really working internally on a lot of things. Jess is, um, you know, she has a PCOS journey that she talks about um, where, and she's just like in with PCOS and gaining weight, she lost a lot of herself, a lot of her confidence and things. And I think a lot of people can relate to that. And so she's kind of talking about the internal work that she's been doing, really trying to get out of her own way. Um, because when we go through things, then we kind of, t the mean girl gets inside your head and you're like, you can't do this. You're not good at this. Um, so she's going to really talk to about how she's been really working towards that. Um, and then let's see. And so that's all we have for the week. So what, let's sit down and kind of focus on our posting. Today's the seventh. So today, um, what I would do is something family fun. And then tomorrow, I would share a pumpkin recipe. Oh, because also, if you look at the 16th, we are doing an education appreciation week flash sale all week. Anybody that's a teacher or anybody that's in school, no matter what they're in school for, whether it's college, whether it's, you know, whatever. Um, so this is going to be a separate group where we go and give them, there's, there's things on sale, and then we'll also offer um, some... So everything's on sale with MM100, and then we'll also offer some gift cards and things like that. So kind of teacher appreciation. But we, we wanted to extend it too because we have a lot of people saying, oh, I'm in school. I don't have the money. Um, so these are the people that you need to start making list of people that you know that are either in school or teachers. And this is a great way to reach out to them this week. And that be kind of the people that you're focusing on inviting and talking to, getting them into this group. Um, I don't think we have it created yet. Just put, get a notebook and say, um, education flash sale and write everybody, um, down that you want to be inviting. And then once it's up, you can get them added. Um, and then the 23rd is going to be our pumpkin spice group. It's going to be our fall pumpkin group. So I would focus, I mean, you can, I want to drop like tomorrow, I'm going to do like a pumpkin um, recipe, whether it be like a pumpkin spice mug cake or the pumpkin spice Shakeology or um, there's pumpkin spice like um, brown, brownie bars. Like there's so much stuff. If you go on the Beachbody blog, there's a ton of stuff. I also am pretty sure I have a pumpkin spice um, ebook that I can share um, from last year. So some type of pumpkin recipe doesn't have to be one you've personally made. You can take a picture um, from the Beachbody blog and the recipe and be like, oh my gosh, guys, I'm like drooling over this. Because I do want to drop it here and there because we do need to get them ordered to get in there. And then if you personally bought any pumpkin spice, like I said, that you could do um, the $35 for six servings, whether it's a little bit of regular Shakeology and then the pumpkin, um, but just being inviting people to that. And this is a perfect way to also go back and talk to people who've told you, no, it's too expensive. Hey, for $35, you can grab um, six days worth, be in our fall themed group and we're going to have a ton of fun together. So wait, we basically go over like fall recipes, pumpkin spice recipes. We talk about like fall fashion and decorating. So it's a little bit of everything. It's kind of, it's, it'll be, it's a fun group. 
So that's the 23rd. So I would do a pumpkin recipe on Sunday and then Sunday night is going to be a coach post. And then Monday, because we've got the sneak peek on Monday. So Monday is going to be a motivational post with a coach breadcrumb. And what I mean by breadcrumb is, hey, not, hey, join my team, fill out this application, but I love, you know, something motivational and be like, I love that this community or, you know, by working on myself and doing this coaching thing, it's helped me so much to, you know, really focus on working on myself or taking my mornings back to myself or whatever it is. Um, just kind of like why you're thankful, grateful for coaching, just sliding it in there. Not like join me, but doing that. And then Tuesday, um, I would do a recipe share. Oh, I forget how this works. A recipe share. And then um, I would do two posts Tuesday and then Tuesday night would be, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm um, hosting, and this would be on your stories too, um, you know, hosting a coach um, information session, a sneak peek tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm just, I have so many people interested, like just play it up. Like you've got so many people wanting to be a part of this. Um, that's when you create FOMO. So PM is going to be excitement for sneak peek. All right. And then Wednesday is what's happening. Wednesday I would make a, um, Um, what do I want to say? Engagement post. Kind of basically like, where are my teachers at? Where are my people in school? That kind of thing so that you can start private conversations with people. Um, maybe you find a funny like teacher education meme or something like that. And then you post it or whatever. But when people comment, um, or what's your favorite thing? If you guys are either in school teaching or back to school, um, you know, what's your favorite de-stressor? I don't know. You can literally do it anyway. Just trying to get people to talk to you about that they are so that you can start a conversation. Hey, I didn't realize you were back in school or I didn't realize you were a teacher. That's awesome. Um, what grade do you teach? Or, you know, something like that. And then starting that conversation, building and then asking questions and then being like, um, catching up. And then when you don't know what else to say, Hey, I don't know if you're interested or not, but I actually, um, have been having a ton of fun working out from home and, um, I'm having a flash sale, um, this coming week. We're doing a lot of fun giveaways to celebrate you and, you know, other teachers and, and, um, students. Um, so I just wanted to see if you wanted to pop in there and see if you see anything for you. So I make it really low key. Like I can just pop you in there and you can see if you find anything you like. Um, kind of thing. Like we want to celebrate you. Engagement post for teachers, students. All right. And then Thursday I would do a recognition of somebody. Um, and what I've been doing is, um, in that, um, elite mastermind group I created for the people that said that they wanted um, to push for diamond, I had people share a little bit about their testimonial and their photo and like, um, kind of talking about like their journey, whether it be weight loss, whether it be what coaching has done. And I asked a couple questions, um, and then people answered it. And then I'm having people make a post from there. So if you guys want to go in there and then you can share your answers and your photos, people can use it, celebrate you, and then you can do the same for other people. So um, recognition, and I like to do that, um, you know, celebrating another coach. And you could be like, I have to celebrate this rock star coach. And, you know, you don't have to say she's not my coach or, you know, da, da, da. but when you do that, it also kind of shows that you are, you know, rock 
running a successful team. So make sure you get in there also and do your own so people can use you. Okay, Friday. Um, Friday I would do something like fall themed and fun just to get engagement. Maybe you want to ask like, hey, what's a fun, I, I'm starting to get into the fall spirit. What's something fun that um, you guys do, you know, around this time, September, October, um, I'm looking to start some family traditions or something like you don't really have to want to start a family tradition, just get people talking because people talk, uh, love to talk about themselves and then be like bonus points for sharing pictures of your adorable family from last year or something like that. Um, just kind of getting engagement um, because then they're going to see your next post and always, always, always respond to people when they comment because then it, that's how in, Facebook and Instagram want you to be engaging with people and also the if you can try to do it as quick as possible, um, that's good too. Obviously that's not always available, but like the first hour after my post, I try to just be a little bit more mindful because especially with Instagram, the way it works is that if somebody, if you post, that's why I like those engagement pods is to try to comment it within the first hour and respond to them. And if it's four, four words or more is what I'm seeing. So make a post, share with people, hey, go show, show, can you guys go show some love on my post? Four words or more, please. And then respond with four words or more. I usually, mine are usually like literally just four words, but um, that's, that's something else I learned this week too. So four words or more, first hour, try to be, um, a little bit more engaged with comments. All right, and then that's it, because we'll do, um, Saturday is always kind of like family fun, whatever, target market kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that would, um, so either do something like family fun or target market today. And, um, oh, Alien, this is what I wanted to ask you. Do you wanna put together, um, do you wanna help me put together the, um, like? um thriller like the dance challenges for you yeah. okay so what i was thinking is monday wednesday friday saturday because saturday is an easy one people have a little bit more time yeah but i don't want to do it every day and like people feel like they have to do it every day but um so yeah i don't know i today i did um i didn't post it. i forgot i didn't post it but um do you want to do four days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday? Yeah. The options, okay. And like they what, have the dance them. challenges. Okay, so like with using Triller, um, we're going to pick a song based on like the category we give you for that day. So maybe it'll be like a throwback, or maybe it'll be like a boy band, or maybe it'll be like classic rock, like whatever it is. Um, oh, I love that. Friday should be like, um, like throwbacks, like flashback Fridays or something. Yes. Okay. So you, we can, we can do this now. What are you thinking for, for, okay. So Friday's flashback Friday. Um, yeah. Friday's flashback Fridays, Saturdays, maybe we can do, um, something with like family. Like a thriller with your family involved. If, also, I've been seeing like a lot of um, like randoms, but like people do like lip syncing ones that I think would be fun too. Oh my god! It could be like a karaoke. One. <laughs> yeah. The only thing with family is you could do it later and you could be fun, but a lot of people work out in yeah. the house while their kids get up. It's true. Um, but we could always be like. Oh, just do a dancing one with his later because kids love that stuff. Anyway. Yeah. Or like Saturdays could be like a dancing family one. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a workout. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Or just dance. It could be like a fun dance, like a dance challenge maybe. I like that. And we can like pick a category or like pick an artist and 
you can or yeah. it could be like um <laughs> like you could be like like if you do it you can be like put on the macarena <laughs> like on the electric slide <laughs> i don't know whatever <laughs> yeah my <laughs> favorite part of weddings is the electric slide still <laughs> i know i was talking about some to somebody i think it was like my brother-in-law he was like what's that i'm like oh gosh oh um so for monday i don't know how about something like it's workout video right yeah monday wednesday friday will probably be like a little bit of, i try to do like one dance one or two dancing and then some workout moves yeah um i don't know we can do like old school hip-hop what about madonna like everybody picks madonna so oh monday, madonna. Monday. <laughs> I love that. madonna mondays yeah <laughs> i like that and we can change it every week too because eventually you'll run out of madonna <laughs> <laughs> um so madonna monday okay we've got friday we've got saturday what's my wednesday um what if on wednesday like we kind of someone like challenges a few people and then that person has to i don't know i don't know how to explain it but like they pick a song and then you do your own thing to that song or you know what i mean or is that stupid i like it i just what? I like it. I just want to try to keep it simple and not be I know. <laughs> because also we want people to tag people. So just we can make the post. We can put this onto like a simple graphic, post it in the team page, save it as an announcement, and then be like, hey, if you're in for the challenge, drop your Instagram handle below and we'll find you. Oh, what about Wacky Wednesday? Yeah. Sure. Like, I'm just gonna go somewhere else where it's kind of quiet. We're almost done though. Too. Here, so they can watch the kids. <laughs> I can't like hear. I'll just let them cry for like a second. Uh, I just want a long time. <laughs> uh, it comes, I promise. Just give it another five years. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what were we saying? <laughs> okay, Wacky Wednesday. You just have to give them a little guidance because they're going to be like, <laughs> what does that mean? Um, what are you envisioning for Wacky Wednesday? I don't know. I, I'm like, maybe like something like fun, quirky, like just be yourself or do something crazy in your workout or like, wh who are you behind the scenes, you know? Wacky Wednesday, show your weirdo. Okay, flashback Friday. And then what are you saying? Calling, ow. My toe, my foot fell asleep because I was so weird and it's like, I feel like my toe is on fire now. Okay, flashback Friday. And then what did you say for Saturday? Um, Saturday you could do like a family fun, um, kind of like dance video. Family dance challenge. Okay, perfect. Do you have um, word swag or some type of um, something you can just make a quick graphic? For the weekend? I mean, for, sorry. <laughs> what am I saying? Sorry. Um, I do have that thing, Canva. Yeah. Does that work? Yeah. Or Typerama. Yeah, it doesn't have to be fancy. Just, if, I just want you to be like, okay, here's our, our um, trailer or, um, video challenge of the week because I want everybody people are really catching on to this I'm seeing a lot of people in the in the team do it so if I think it'd be really cool if we all did the same thing yeah okay so just so I'm not like my mind's all over the place Madonna Monday did you mm -hmm. name something else nope that's fine okay Madonna Monday wacky Wednesday show your weirdo Friday is flashback so like pick a flashback song mm-hmm 
And then Saturday is a dance challenge with your family or by yourself. <laughs> yeah. So um, what I would do is just keep it short and sweet in the actual graphic. So Madonna Monday, Wacky Wednesday, Flashback Friday, um, fam Saturday Family Dance Challenge. And then in the words in the post you make, just you can explain a little bit more, if you, you know, for maybe Wednesday or, you know, what exactly it is. It, I, it, it's not rocket science, but just explain a little bit so you don't get a million questions. Okay. So do that, make that team, that, that post in the page. Um, and then I'll send it, um, in the, the little pods too, for people. Cause I think this will be really fun. Okay. Also, I wanted to ask you, um, the calls that you have at one o'clock on Wednesdays, are those recorded? Yes, I had the first week recorded. This past week, it ended up being um, just Jess and Liz and I. And we actually talked a lot about like personal stuff. So I didn't end up uploading it to YouTube. It ended up being like a personal development thing. <laughs> I'm uploaded. Enjoying those now that like my schedule is more normal because I had like, I was babysitting the kids that I'm babysitting for. And now, like, you know, I'm watching them at two o'clock till six. So. They're not going to be here, so I have that more time all to myself. Oh my gosh! I didn't realize you were taking more kids in, on. <laughs> yeah. Well, just because their mom is, um, their mom, a uh, principal, so she went back to school and I went to watch the kids. So I'm like, I want more money. <laughs> so are you still doing that, or you said no? Yeah. Oh. yeah. I'm watching them, except now I, I like I've I, before I got pregnant, they were the, I've worked for that family for like three years. Oh, sweet. So um, they're like family. To me. But so now school started. It's like after school. And it's also really good. I actually am actually going to go into the office for my real estate team and like make some calls and stuff like that. Uh, since I Adley went back to daycare, I almost do worse with time management when I have more time. I'm like, oh, I'll do it later. Oh, I'll do it later. Yeah. Like, laundry. Let me do this. So what I actually like with that is that that, that two to six, that is your family time. You're not going to be able to be making posts. You're not going to be able to be doing these things. So from two to six, that's when you have them, you said, right? Yeah. I'm when at their house. Yeah. Oh, okay. So when this is happening, that's family time. So what I would do is the only thing that you can do for is take some pictures if you want to be able to use for, you know, like busy mom life. Um, or, you know, or what I do is I don't even get into Instagram. I just use my video on my phone and I'll take a quick little video that I can upload to my stories later. Um, you know, so just having a little bit of like that, or you can do a little story here and there and like, okay, craziness, I'm going to be MIA for the next four hours. I was listening to, um, some type of training and it's like, you know, it's not a big, maybe it was somebody that was on our, oh, Jatana on our team call was like, you know, for those of you that are at work for long periods of time or, you know, can't be in, just like do a quick story, like heading into work. I'll see y'all later. Like I'll be gone. Like just letting people know, um, kind of like what you're doing that in itself is like, okay, you know, I'll see her in four hours. Not that people are like stalking you, but I think it makes it more like personable and that you're engaging with people. So they know. Then I would also kind of structure your day. I know two to six is gone. What, what does my morning look like? And with twins at this age, it's hard to exactly know, but have an idea and know what you need to do before that two o'clock runs comes, comes by and what your non-negotiable is. So your invites, a post, and engaging with people. Like that's, you know, trying to grow your network. Those three things have to happen before two o'clock. So you figure out when that's going to happen. Yeah. And this is good also because the schedule that I have now. I have to like think of foods to feed my kids when I'm gone, when my mother in law watches them. So it's going to like force me to like really food prep. <laughs> yeah. Do you have, um, oh, you're gone and your, your mom is watching your kids while you watch her kids? Yeah. Oh, I thought you took them all there. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay, let me just tell you, I watched four kids for like from seven to five thirty, and I wanted to die. Oh, there's four of them. Well, it was my two, and then the other mm -hmm. two. The other two were older, so like they played on their iPad a lot. Mm -hmm. But once the kids went to sleep, you know, they were like, "Oh, let's play a game," and I'm like, "Okay," and like, let me just maybe no, eat something really quick before I throw up. 
<laughs> we, my best friend, we went home, I went home for my parents' 40th anniversary. My best friend watched me and my two sisters, six girls, and she has a two-year-old boy. She was like, he was crazier than all of them combined, I think. But <laughs> so her and her husband are like chasing around seven kids. <laughs> Crazy. I paid her in a bag of Shakeology. <laughs> she- <laughs> all those families that have like more than five kids. I'm like, ay, ay, ay. I don't want to be outnumbered. Okay. So, <laughs> um, that's good. So I would just kind of talk about the craziness and making sure that we're talking about, cause sometimes I'll go and look at my stories and I'm like, there's so much beach body in here. What, what else is there? So I really try to even if it's just a quick story of what you're doing or if you're in home goods, like I'm so bad at like, just like not bringing my phone out. So I'm really trying to be like, Oh my gosh, look at these things. So you can like find your tribe of people. Like if you think something's cute, you want to find those other people that think it's cute. Um, so I'll just like take a picture or take a quick video. Or if I, um, made my pumpkins or I got a pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks posting it, but then also doing a poll, like what's your, or a question, like what's your go-to Starbucks drink? Like something that's, People want to talk to you. Oh, I love polls and questions. Yeah. It's like really good. Um, fitness related. You get so much engagement. Yeah. TV. When it's fitness related, it's like crickets. Cricket, cricket. <laughs> yeah. TV's a really good one too. Like, oh, like if you're watching something on TV, take a quick video of it. Like, what's your guilty pleasure? It was a question with a question so they can type it in. And yeah. then you literally just like reply to each one like, oh, I haven't seen this one. Or you can either, and you can hit reply and then the box pops up and you can either do a picture of, with words or a video. Um, or if you get a bunch of them, you can, you can see them all and take a, a screenshot and be like, hey, let me know which, which, who's watched any of these and which ones you recommend. Or it's so easy. And then those people that respond, I always respond to them and start a conversation. Those yeah. people are engaging, they're watching you. They're a good, solid um, tribe member, you know, so starting conversations that way. So I've really been trying to do that. Um, there was a podcast, Bob Heilig, on your virtual upline. Jasmine Starr was on it. Listen to that one. She's like a Instagram guru. Um, and she gave some really great tips. I remember I listened to that while I was like in the airport. I always do everything podcast. I do one and a half speed <laughs> and I listen to so much more <laughs> that way, but just get into your virtual upline, Bob High, like so much of his stuff is good content. I feel like I do better with like my stories than my posts. Your what? I said, I like Instagram doing like more stories than actual like posts. Yeah. I would still do a post a day. Yeah. Um, another thing that I've seen has been working more is like every post doesn't have to be this well thought out like post. It can be like, Hey, I'm, uh, you know, I saw somebody, they post, it was another coach. She shared, it was like a picture of her bacon. It's like, what type of bacon do you use? Like, and she's like, I had 50 comments about bacon, <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, like, um, we don't always have to put so much thought into it, but just try to get people engaging with you about stuff that isn't necessarily fitness. Like you said, people want to talk to you. People want to talk to, you know, tell you their opinion, things like that. Getting people to engage with you is great because then they're going to see your next posts that are about fitness. And I always, one, I respond to them and two, I send them a private message and start a conversation. Those are, that's an easy way to find people to start engagements with that are eventually going to be an invite. Every single time I start a conversation, as long as they're not like a coach or a, um, you know, something else, I am going to end it with, Hey, it was so good to catch up. Um, so I know, you know, that I've been working out from home. Tell me about you. What are you up to these days for workouts or, you know, how are things going always every time, even if it's a no, it doesn't matter. That is my sole purpose. Um, you know, obviously I want to be a good friend and start genuine conversations, but I do not end a conversation without inviting. Okay. So, um, yeah. Any questions that you guys have? No, but you've been very, very helpful. Oh, good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Always are. <laughs> um, here's my other thought about Sunday nights at nine o'clock. They have like s not happened for a solid three weeks because nine o'clock is not a good time. I thought it was. I think I'm just going to kind of combine that with coffee and content. And this is, this is basically all I would be doing Sunday night. So I think I'm going to take that off the calendar because it's just a terrible time. Adley is like not going to bed by 8.30 anymore, ever. 
<laughs> it's more like 9.15. So, um, she I think, sleep? what? She sleep until like seven. What time does she sleep till? Girl, she sleeps like 12 hours. She's ridiculous. <laughs> you are lucky at that age to have that. Yeah. Does she take naps? Uh, yeah. Like two naps still or just one? Yeah. One. She'll take about an hour and a half to two hour nap. <laughs> Yeah, my kids sometimes when they take two-hour naps, I'm like, should I go in and wake them up? And I'm like, no, don't do, don't be stupid. Enjoy the time. <laughs> They're breathing. They're fine. Um, yeah. So last night she went to bed. She went to bed kind of late last night because we were out late with family at um, hanging out. So she, it was like nine thirty, and then she woke up at like eight or eight thirty today. <laughs> like, like I'm not ready for newborn life again. I've had such a good sleep for so long. <laughs> kind of forget but it's only like a year and a year goes by so fast not even not even a year